Really warm welcome everybody from us at Yo Yoga. Here we are doing our classic yoga Vikram class. So please get your mat out, get comfortable, get ready, and I'll be guiding you through the sequence. Enjoy everybody, make yourself comfortable, find your mat, find your space, and we'll get started. Feet together please, heels, big toes touch, somewhere towards the top or the middle of your space. Let your arms hang heavy alongside your body. Gaze forward or close your eyes. Take a deep inhale through the nose, stand up nice and tall. Open your mouth and sigh that out. Once more, deep inhale, pause for a moment, feel full. Open your mouth, release. We'll breathe just like that now, pranayama, deep breathing, eyes are open. Please interlace all ten fingers, thumbs as well, slot your knuckles beneath your throat. Eyes forward, empty the lungs, and we begin. Inhale for one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, chin down, eyes forward, focus on your own body in the mirror. If you have one, elbows lift nice and high. Exhale, drop your head back. Press your knuckles against your throat, bring your wrist, your forearms, your elbows are the last to touch. Inhale, chin down. Inhaling through the nose, use the whole six counts to fill up your lungs right to the top. Exhale, drop your head back. Exhaling out of the mouth, let it be an audible sound as you squeeze the air out. Inhale, chin down. Feet are together, please. Heels, big toes touch. Ground down firmly into your feet. Exhale, drop your head back. Eyes remain open throughout. Lift your elbows away from your chest and squeeze them together to touch. Inhale, chin down. Legs remain straight and strong. Lift your kneecaps up into your thighs and squeeze the inner thighs together. Exhale, head drops back. Spread your shoulder blades apart now, eyes open, lift your elbows, bring them together to touch. Inhale, chin down. We're using the whole six counts to fill up your lungs, flushing your body with oxygen. Take one more sip at the top. Exhale, head drops back. The more you exhale here, the more space you create. Keep squeezing the stale air up and out. Inhale, chin down. Last two, breathe deeper, breathe fuller. Eyes forward, lift your elbows, one more sip. Exhale, drop your head back. Avoid back bending, your eyes are open. Lift your elbows and squeeze them together. Inhale, chin down. Last one, biggest, deepest, most expansive inhalation. Take one more sip, past the point of full. Exhale, head drops back. Last open mouth exhalation for a while, make it count, keep squeezing that air up and out. Change, relax your arms down alongside your body. You're welcome to move your head from side to side, roll your shoulders forwards and back. We'll meet in stillness, eyes forward, lips sealed, you're breathing in and out of the nose. First standing posture, half moon, inhale, arms overhead sideways. Interlace all ten of your fingers, release just your index fingers, your thumbs are crossed. As you inhale, lengthen your spine, stretch up. As you exhale, find some free movement, right to left, side to side. Keep going just like that, maybe add a twist, a back bend, a forward bend. I'll give you another ten seconds or so to move, just feeling into the body. overhead, squeeze the base of the palms tightly together. Take a deep inhale as you lengthen your spine, stretch up. Move on in exhalation, upper body to the right, push your hips over to the left. Eyes forward, you're breathing in and out through your nose only. Starting at the bottom, feel your feet together, your heels nice and heavy. There's equal pressure across both of the feet. Avoid bending at the knees, rather lift your kneecaps up into your thighs and squeeze the inner thighs together. Push your left hip beyond your left ankle. Feel the entire left side of your body getting longer. Breathe space between the left side of your ribs. Lift your chin so your throat is visible and encourage your arms further back behind your ears. Running out of time, can you move just a little bit deeper? Come down, push. Come 
even further down now, stretch. Change, inhale, come up. As you exhale, upper body to the left, push your hips over to the right. Your eyes are forward, your gaze is steady. Breathe in and out through the nose. Feet together, heels heavy, ten toes light onto the mat. Kneecaps lift up into the thighs, squeeze your inner thighs together without clenching the glutes. Push your right hip beyond your right ankle. In fact, think about your left hip moving beyond your right ankle as well. Yes, you're lengthening through the entire right side of your body, but without shortening or collapsing through left side. Lift up, out and over. Visualize a longer, a taller version of the spinal column. Lift your chin so the throat is visible. Your breath can move with ease. Running out of time, can you move a little bit deeper? Push your hips to the right. Stretch your arms over to the left. Come all the way down. Stretch. Change. Inhale, rise. Exhale. Please drop your head back. Relax your neck, your throat, your eyes are open. Inhale, push your hips forward. Lift your chest up. Exhale, draw an invisible line on the sky above you. Move into your back bend. Feet are together, please. Legs are straight. Thighs, hips forward. Lift your chest up. You're still breathing through the nose as you look back. Lean back. Drop even further back. Change. Inhale, rise. Option to bend your knees. Exhale, fold forward with a flat back with a long spine. Fold forwards and down. Separate your hands at the bottom. Walk it out. A little bit of free movement as you bounce your hips. Maybe bend both knees together, maybe shake out the head and the neck. Hands to feet pose, take a deep bend into your knees. Come scoop up your heels from behind, five fingers together. Pinky fingers touch, thumbs included in the grip. Give your heels an honest go. If that's not happening, don't worry. You can hold on to the back of your ankles or the back of your calf muscles. You can bend your knees a lot for this one as you sandwich your upper body down onto your legs. If I look at you from the side, no room for light or air. Belly to thighs, chest to knees, relax your neck. Can you push your forehead into your shins beyond your knees? Roll the way forward towards your toes, pull up on your heels, lift your hips a little bit higher, you're lengthening the entire back line of your body. Eyes are open, squeeze your elbows, roll the weight forwards, pull. Change, find your Bikram bind out in front of you. Use an inhale, come all the way up to stand. Exhale, arms down, push your palms into your thighs, take a breath and just let that settle. We move into our second set. Inhale, arms up, find your bind right away. As you inhale, grow tall, stretch up. Move on and exhale, upper body right, push your hips left. Just 30 seconds this time. Can you come down to at least where you left off in the previous set? Here is your opportunity to find your maximum depth. Fine tune your alignment. You want your body flat, squashed between two panes of glass. Left hip, bring it forward, right shoulder in and underneath you. Approach your maximum now for your final three, two, one, change. Deep inhale, stretch up. Move on and exhale, upper body left, hips right, eyes forward, breath moving effortlessly in and out through your nose. Check in with your alignment. Maybe that right hip needs to come forward, left shoulder in and underneath you. You are stretching, you are strengthening oblique abdominal muscles, really important for supporting the spine, especially in back bending shapes. Keep breathing through the nose, find your maximum. Last three, two, one, change. Inhale, rise, exhale, head drops back, soften your neck, your throat. As you inhale, drive your hips forward, lift your chest up. As you exhale, work your arms back alongside your ears. Second set, spine should be feeling warmer, be fearless. Hips forward, chest up. Small sips of breath through the nose as you look back. Lean back, drop even further back. Change, inhale to rise. You're welcome to soften your knees, fold forward with a flat back. With a strong stomach, fold forwards and down. Separate your hands at the bottom and pedal out your legs. Just a few moments for your own free movement, giving your body this time to acclimatize from a back bend to a forward bend. We move into our second set, Padahastasana, hands to feet, deep bend into your knees, come scoop up your heels from behind, going for a deeper grip if you can. 
Sandwich your upper body down onto your legs. Roll the weight forward towards your toes. Strong arms now as you pull up on your heels. Feel a stretch from your heels to your hips, your hips down the spine towards the back of your neck. Avoid crunching into your upper back though, so lift your shoulders away from your earlobes. Eyes are open. Nice strong arms, roll the weight forwards, pull. Last time, go for it, lift your hips. One more big pull. Change, find your bind. Use your breath and inhale to rise, shoulders above hips. Exhale, arms down, eyes forward. Breathe smooth and steady through the nose. Awkward pose, right foot out to the right, six inches, two fists side by side. Your feet are a number 11, heels invisible behind the toes. Inhale, lift your arms up parallel to the mat, squeeze five fingers, palms face down. Take a deep inhale, energize the body. Exhale, bend your knees, sit down, feet flat for the first of three. There's a tiny chair back behind you, drop your bum onto that seat. Maximum weight into your heels any second now, you're going to topple over backwards. Counterbalance that sensation, strong arms, reach your fingertips forward like laser beams. Roll your shoulders back and down, open your chest. Everyone sit down, one more inch freeze. Change, inhale rise, lift your heels, you're on the tips of your toes now. Take an inhale, keep those heels lifted, your spine is straight. Exhale, bend your knees, sit down with a straight spine. Prioritize the height of your heels as you push down into the mounds of your big toes. Really feel for a straight spine, shoulders stay above hips. Eyes forward, soften your facial features, keep breathing. Heels up, sit down, change. Inhale, rise, land your heels, arms stay for one more. Knock your knees, squeeze your inner thighs together. Weight forward, lift your heels just an inch or two, inhale. Slow motion, exhale. Slide down the invisible wall behind you. Squeeze your knees, your inner thighs together. Move with control. Please listen to your body. Protect your knees at all costs, never any pain. If all is well, you're sitting all the way down. Hips hover off the heels, knees are pointing down. Strong legs come up an inch. Change all the way up and out. Feet together, relax the arms, close off the posture. Just take a grounding breath in and out through the nose, adding tremendous strength to the legs. Let's go for our second set. Right foot step it out into that imprint in the mat or the towel beneath you. Inhale, arms up parallel, squeeze five fingers. Take a deep inhale, prepare. Exhale, bend your knees, sit down. Second set will move just a tiny bit quicker, straight to your edge and maintain. Hips eventually in the same line as your knees, no lower, thighs parallel to the mat. Belly in and up. Roll your shoulders back and down. Relax your face. Find your maximum. Drop your hips. Hold strong legs. Change. Inhale. Rise. Lift your heels. You're on the tips of your toes. Take an inhale. Find your balance. Exhale. Bend your knees. Please sit down with a straight spine. Remember you're prioritizing the height of your heels above the depth of your seat. There should be six inches still between your ankles, your knees, and your wrists. Lift your heels up. Slide your hips down. Let your legs start to tremble, start to quiver. Change. Inhale, rise, land your heels, arms stay. One more, knock your knees, squeeze inner thighs, weight forward, lift your heels, inhale. Your own slow count of 10, exhale. Bend your knees and slide down the wall behind you. Move in slow motion. Inner thighs are strong and stabilizing muscles, use them here. Only if you're feeling strong here and now, maybe explore a few bounces at the bottom, but please move with care. Without bouncing, change, push into the feet, come up and out. Lovely, feet together, relax your arms and breathe. Well done, just one more in our warm-up sequence, eagle pose. Inhale, arms overhead, palms are flat together. Right arm under, left arm, cross at elbows first, wrists as well as you can. Bend your knees, sit low, back into that invisible chair. Lift your right leg high, up and over your left. Right arm under, right leg over. One day, slotting your toes behind your calf muscle, then listen to your knee. Press down into left heel. Push your right thigh down onto your left thigh. Use that compression to sit your hips down even lower. 
Elbows down towards your navel, big stretch in your upper back. Change, feet together, arms overhead, palms flat. Switch sides, left arm under, right arm. Bend your knees, sit low, stay low. Lift your left leg high up and over your right. Left arm under, left leg over, limbs taken in turns. Check that your standing foot hasn't moved, so the foot is perpendicular to the front of your space, the heel invisible behind the toes. Push your left thigh down onto your right thigh. Sit your hips down even lower, spine is nice and straight. Change feet together, arms over head, palms flat. Straight into set two, right arm beneath left arm. Bend your knees, right leg lifted high up and over your left. First secure your bind, your balance. Fine tune your alignment, you want to stack your joints, everything coming in towards the center line. Knees send them right, elbows move them left. Press down firmly into your left heel. Squeeze the thighs, drop your hips. Change, feet together, arms over head, palms flat. Last one, left arm beneath right arm. Bend your knees, left leg lifted high up and over the right. The higher you lift the leg, the more leg you have to bind with. Once the toes are hooked, it actually helps with the balance. Check in with the alignment, feel your joints stacked. Now the knees need to move left, the elbows right. Breathe as you work into the 12 major joints, your ankles, your knees, your hips. Your wrists, your elbows, your shoulders, sit down, balance. Change, feet together. Arms over head, palms flat. Exhale, arms down, breathing through the nose. It's the official water break. If you would like a quick sip, you're welcome to do so. Otherwise, just stay as you are, feet together, heels, big toes touch. Stay present in your body and on your mat. We progress into our balancing sequence. Standing head to knee, feet together. Pour the weight into your left leg, straight and strong. Inhale, please lift your right leg up, right thigh parallel to the earth, ankle underneath, the foot is flexed. Pull your belly in, see if you can round down, interlace 10 fingers on the ball of your right foot. If this is straining your body, maybe you're holding onto your shin, listen to what works for you today. We're balancing on one leg for the best part of a minute, not easy, not comfortable, breathe, smile, be kind to yourself. The left foot should be perpendicular to the top of your mat, heel invisible behind the toes. In this posture, more weight is coming forward into the ball of the foot. You're not collapsing back into your heel. You're looking for a straight standing leg. Once the leg is straight, can you lock your knee? Lift your kneecap up into your thigh and switch on the quadricep muscle. Eyes forward, roll your shoulders down, open your chest. Change, land your right foot quietly down alongside your left foot. Purposefully transfer the weight into right leg, straight and strong. Inhale, lift your left leg up. A perfect square shape, 90 degree angle, the left foot is flexed. Now with your belly in, slowly roll down. Can you interlace 10 fingers on the ball of your left foot or take the same variation? If you do have a grip, all 10 fingers are interlaced up to the webbing. Use your thumbs as well. Your hands create a stirrup. Check that your left ankle is beneath your left knee. The left hip likes to slide in towards the glute, so can you correct that? Check in with your foundation. Right toes, spread them wide into the mat. And press down through all five of your toes evenly the same. Keep the weight moving forward out of your heel. Normal about now for the standing foot to burn, to cramp, to complain. Keep breathing, smile, you're adding so much strength to the body. Change, carefully land your left foot, stand tall. Stay as you are, or if the lower back is not having too much fun, a gentle back bend, hands to the lower back, push the hips forward, lift the chest, look up, or drop your head back. Change, we'll go for a second set, 30 seconds, feet together. Strong left leg, inhale, lift your right leg up. Flex the right foot, belly in, round down, 10 fingers interlace. If you're happy that your standing leg is straight, your standing knee is locked, off you go, start to kick your right heel forward. If when you start to kick, the standing knee bends or wobbles, perfectly fine to stay in the first step. Both legs straight, you look like a capital letter L on its side. Bend your elbows down to raise your calf muscle. Look down for your left big toe. Lastly, can you bring your forehead to meet your knee? Change, feet 
together, come out slowly, mindful transitions. Feet together, relax your arms, be still. Once more, move the weight to right leg, left leg lifted up, flex the left foot. Strong stomach, round down, ten fingers interlace all the way up to the webbing. If you're happy that the standing leg can stay straight and strong, no bending, no wobbling, no knee. Off you go, start to kick the left heel forward, and in an ideal world, you're doing the same on both sides. Two straight legs, begin to bend your elbows down to graze either side of the calf muscle. Tuck your chin into your chest. One glorious day, your forehead meets your knee. Hold your maximum. Change, rewind slowly, carefully, feet together. Arms hang heavy, soften shoulders, upper back. Time for standing bow pulling pose. We are doing two sets. The first one will be longer. Right palm faces up, elbow in towards your waist. Straighten your right arm back behind you and without twisting, pick up your right foot inside grip. Your thumb should be near your big toe. Your right shoulder is already rolling back behind you. Knees together, left arm up, palm faces forward. Take a deep inhale, lengthen your spine, stretch up. On an exhale, start to kick right foot into right hand. For the first few breaths, just prioritize your kick. Maximum space between heel and hip. Once you've exhausted your kick, begin to reach. Left fingertips forward towards the bridge of your nose in the mirror if you have one. Keep rolling that right hip down. You're searching for that perfect place of balance, equal reach, equal kick. One day the toes come up above the crown of your head, not out to the right or to the left. Press down into left foot. Firm up your left leg. Last few seconds, can you go deeper, reach forward, kick back. One more time, kick up and kick back. Change, come out slowly, feet together, relax the arms. We set up for the other side. Left palm faces up, elbow in. Lengthen your left arm back behind you to receive the left foot inside grip. Squeeze knees, right arm up, palm forward, bicep alongside the ear. As you inhale, really lengthen your spine, stand tall and find the balance. Exhale, start to kick. First few breaths, just kick. Try to keep the torso as upright as you can. It's only when you can't kick anymore, that's when you go for the reach. Stretch through your right fingertips. Feel as that left shoulder rolls back behind you. The right shoulder releases forward. This posture is a balance, a back bend, and a twist. Nothing easy about it. Perfectly normal to wobble, to wiggle, to fall out. Simply breathe, smile, and try again. Less than 10 seconds to go. Have you got a little bit more? Really reach through your right fingertips, pick up and back. Last time, pick that left leg up and back. Change, feet together. Relax your arms, a moment of calm. Big shape. Perfectly normal for the heart rate to accelerate. We have one more set. 30 seconds. Right palm faces up, elbow in. Lengthen right arm back, scoop up right foot, knees together, left arm up. Take an inhale, find your balance, your composure. Exhale, off you go. 30 seconds, move at your own pace. Press down into all four corners of left foot, feel that strong foundation, firm, solid standing leg. Encourage that right hip to roll down. Stretch the left fingertips forward, strong and energized. Do you have 10 more seconds to go? Keep breathing. Toes above the crown of the head, reach forward, kick back. Last time, make it count. Kick up and kick back. Change feet together. Relax your arms. Let it settle. Prepare mind and body for the last one. Left palm faces up, elbow in. Lengthen left arm back, receive left foot. Knees squeeze, right arm up, palm forward. Take an inhale, find your eyes quiet and focused. Exhale, begin. 30 seconds. Reach forward, kick back with equal strength, with equal intensity. Press down into right foot. Strong through right leg, left hip spinning down. Really open up across the chest as that right shoulder releases forward. For these last few moments, go somewhere new, reach forward, kick back, one more time, kick up and back. Change, feet together, relax your arms, breathe smooth, steady and even, in and out through the nose. 
We're down to one set of each shape. Step to the back of your space, balancing stick pose, only 10 seconds long. Inhale, arms overhead sideways. Reinterlace all 10 of your fingers, release just the index fingers, thumbs crossed. Identify your right foot. Inhale, step your right foot forward, lift your left toes to hover off of the mat. Move on and exhale, lower your torso, lift your left leg up. Torso, left leg parallel to the mat. Embody a perfect capital letter T. Two straight legs, squeeze the base of the palms, reach forward and stretch back. Change, feet together, arms stay up. Left foot forward, inhale, hover those right toes off of the mat, balance. Move on and exhale, lower the torso, lift that right leg up. One long line from index fingers to right toes. Both legs straight and strong. Straighten out your arms, lift your arms higher than your ears, reach and stretch. Change, beautifully done. Feet together, relax your arms, keep breathing. Next one, designed to slow things down a bit. Walk towards the top edge of your mat. Inhale, arms overhead sideways, arms flat. Exhale, take a big step out to the right, same time, arms down parallel to the mat. As you inhale, long spine. As you exhale, swan dive forwards and down. Bear in mind, we have one set of each shape, so if it is possible for you to hold on to your heels, please do so now. Otherwise, the outer blades of the feet, the ankles, or the calf muscles. Your body has been working exceptionally hard. Let this be an opportunity to slow down. Your legs are as straight as possible. If your legs are straight, lift your kneecaps, firm up your thighs. Chin is away from the chest. Imagine one day that space between your eyebrows connecting to the earth, the towel beneath you. Bring no weight forward towards the balls of the feet. Lengthen through the back of the body. Strong arms, bend your elbows, pull. Change, arms wide, inhale, come up and stay there. Right toes turn to face the right. Bend your right knee, come bounce several times into that right knee. Just check that the stance is wide enough. Right knee does not overshoot the ankle. Come down to your lowest point without bouncing, take an inhale. Move on and exhale, both arms together. Right elbow inside of right knee. Left fingertips stretch up towards the ceiling. Right knee is on top of right ankle. Plug down through left baby toe. Look up towards your left thumb. Stretch your arms wide in opposite directions, up and down. Please no weight in your right hand. Rather stretch your right fingertips down towards that gap between the big and the second toe. Last few moments, look up. See your left thumb stretch up to the ceiling. Change, inhale, come up, switch the feet, left toes now. Bend your left knee, come bounce several times. Just check in that your stance hasn't shortened in the transition. Without bouncing, please take an inhale, move on and exhale, arms together, six and 12 o'clock. Left elbow inside of left knee. Use that bone to bone connection to encourage your left knee to move out to the side as you breathe towards your left hip, towards your inner thighs, towards the groin. You don't want to feel like the feet are slipping or sliding away from one another, so press down firmly into left heel. Ground down through the outer blade of your right foot, lift up through the inner arch, you will build stronger and more flexible ankles. Arms wide, look up, stretch up, reach up to touch the ceiling. Change, inhale, come up and hold there, bring the feet a bit closer together. Arms overhead, palms flat, this time just the thumbs are crossed. Pick up your toes, pivot on your heels. Your hips should be square now to the back of your space. As you inhale, long spine. As you exhale, tuck your chin. Begin to round down through the spinal column. At the bottom, tuck your chin in, bring your forehead onto your knee, bend your right knee as much as you need to. Forehead to knee, that is the priority, so feel free to bend your right knee. Your hands can be separated, press into your fingertips, hands are like two little spiders. Over time, your hands will closer and closer together until the palms are flat, the thumbs are crossed, the fingertips graze the earth. Push down into left heel. The left leg stays straight throughout. Round your spine up towards the ceiling and lift your belly in and up away from your right thigh. For these last few moments, push your forehead into your knee, straighten right leg just a tiny bit more. To change, palms are flat, press into left heel, roll up. 
Pick up your toes, quarter turn. Another quarter turn to change direction, hips square. As you inhale, lift and lengthen out of the lower back. As you exhale, tuck your chin, slowly round down through the spine. Bend your left knee as much as you need to. Prioritize your forehead to knee connection. If your hands are separated, make sure the palms are not flat onto the mat, but rather you're pressing into your fingertips, hands like two little cones. Drive your right heel into the earth. Bend your left knee as much as you need to. Be honest, make sure it's the forehead on the knee, not the nose, not the lips. Really round your spine up towards the ceiling like an angry cat. Skin stretching over vertebral joints. Belly in and up away from your left thigh, strong stomach. For these last few moments, can you straighten left knee a little bit more? Hands come closer and closer together. Change, inhale, roll up. Call to turn to face the front of the room. Feet together, arms down. Breathe in and out through the nose. Please set up for your last standing shape, tree or an option of toe stand if that's accessible for you. Feet are together. Anchor the left foot firmly down into the mat. Use your hands, come scoop up your right foot inside grip and lift it up and over towards your left hip crease. Left hand holds right foot, right hand to heart. Trees, that's plenty, balance here. If you are moving towards toe stand, you're welcome to do so now. Please be mindful with your right knee, never any pain. Press down into your left foot, strong through your left leg. Try to keep your hips aligned, your shoulders aligned, even the tips of your ears. Long spine as you lengthen through the back of the neck. Stand tall and strong, just like a tree. Toe stands start to rewind. Make your way back to tree, find your balance. Take an inhale together. Change, exhale, kick right leg forward, right foot to the mat. Take a moment to pour the weight into your right leg. Use your hands, come scoop up left foot, and lift it high up and over toward the right hip crease. Gentle with that left knee as it rolls back and down. Off you go, toe stands, trees stay as you are. Feel the range of movement through the left hip joint, no sensation in the knee. Press down across all four corners of right foot, trees. Draw energy up the right leg. Balance toe stands, we all find our way back to tree. Tall spine, eyes forward, take a breath, balance. Change, left leg forward, left foot to the mat. That's our standing practice completed. You are welcome to seal off the standing practice in any way that resonates for you. And in your own time, Shavasana, spread your body long across your mat. Give yourself this time to be still. Lengthen your legs out away from you, heels together, toes flop out. Arms are in close alongside you with your palms facing up to the sky. Feel the breath in and out through the nose. Notice with interest rather than judgment if the mind feels busy. Can you anchor your mind's eye back onto your breath? Feel your belly rise and fall, your ribcage expand and contract. Let the breath deepen and let the heart rate slow. We start our floor sequence with Winja Moving Pose. If you did close your eyes, please blink them open. Wiggle fingers, toes, come back into your body, come back onto your mat. With your eyes open, use your next inhale, gather right knee up into your chest. Interlace 10 fingers around your right shin. Nice strong arms to squeeze your right knee down towards your right shoulder, your right armpit. Can you get a bit of a pinch there through the right hip joint? Big belly breaths, feel the belly swell up against the thigh, against the hip crease as you massage your internal organs. One more strong squeeze, eyes open, elbows in. Change, lengthen your right leg out away from you. Left knee, inhale, bend it up into the chest, reinterlace 10 fingers, white knuckle grip. Really press the fingertips down into the long bones of your hands. Back of the head should be down. Supple tuck of chin as you lengthen through the back of the neck. 
Try to avoid rolling over to the left side. Right shoulder is heavy, elbows in. Big belly breaths, focus on that compression as you massage, as you stimulate the abdominal organs. One more, big squeeze. Change, lengthen your left leg out. This time, both knees together, bend up into the chest. Wrap your arms around your shins. Can you hold on to opposite elbows? Try for the elbows if you can, otherwise forearms, wrists, or hands. Just be mindful you haven't crossed at the shins, the feet are next to each other. With the back of the head down, use both of your arms to squeeze both of your knees down. Flatten out your lower back. Feel up and down the length of your spine. Strong arms, one more big squeeze. Change, lengthen your legs out away from you. Fresh blood moving towards your belly. Come back to that same place of stillness, of calm. It's time for our first Bikram sit-up. With your arms over your head, please cross just your thumbs, your palms face up to the sky. Flex your feet, your heels stay down throughout. Take an inhale through the nose, hold your breath, sit up. Double exhale. Very nice. Onto your belly, we start our spine strengthening sequence with Cobra Pose. Lie flat down onto your belly, zip up your legs and push the tops of your feet down. Your hands are beneath your shoulders, five fingers together. Without using arm strength, use an inhale to lift. Please lift your chin and your chest up. You're using lower back strength. You can test this, hover your hands for a seppi, the chest should not dip. Good, push the tops of the feet down. So much so that your kneecaps actually hover off of the mat, your legs are straight and strong. Shoulders down, elbows in, lift up one more set of ribs. Change, left ear to the mat, to look right, arms alongside you, fingertips grazing, or rather your thumb tip just grazing your outer thigh. Let your eyes be quiet. Look at where your mat or your towel meets the floor. Next one is half locust. Eyes forward, chin down, flip your palms. Spread your ten fingers wide and slide your arms in and underneath you. Please, the arms must stay straight. So if this is agony, you're welcome to keep your arms alongside you, just no bending at the elbows. Eyes forward, chin down, switch off your left leg completely. Point your right toes, inhale, lift, lift your right leg up. Just the right leg, lift it up. Right hip is rolling down onto your right forearm. Point your right toes, imagine you want to touch the wall behind you, lengthen the right leg, lift it up. Change right leg to the mat, make it soft. Point your left toes now. Use an inhale, lift, lift just your left leg up. Go for at least 45 degrees. Lengthen from left hip to knee. Knee to the tips of the toes. Spread your 10 fingers wide, grip into the fingertips. Lift the leg and lengthen it back. Change left leg to the mat. Tuck your chin, please, kiss the towel. Slide your hands lower down towards your feet. Lips must stay down for this one. Inhale, lift, both legs together, lift up. Go for it now, feet, shins, knees, thighs, wild energy, lift your hips off of your forearms. Keep the weight coming forward into the shoulders, lift your hips up. Change, legs down, arms out quick as you can. Right ear down, look left. You're welcome to flick out your fingers, your thumbs. Maybe you feel a bit of pins and needles, a bit of tingling. It's a deep stretch for elbows, forearms, wrists. Next one is full locust. Eyes forward, chin down. Now open up your arms wide from your shoulders like wings. Really take up space. Legs are glued together. Use an inhale, lift. Chin, chest, arms, legs, lift. Lift as much of your body as you can away from the earth against gravity. Fingertips higher than the crown of your head. Lift your toes as high as your fingertips. Smile, lift your thighs, your chest. Lift your rib cage up. Change, very nice. Lower your left. Cheek to the mat, look right. Lengthen your arms down, fingertips to toes. Big toes touch, the heels flop out, the bum is soft. Check in with your breath, check in with your heart rate. It's time for floor bow. Eyes forward, chin down, bend your knees, hold on to your feet, five fingers together. Hands like hooks. Knees come in towards the center line. Use your inhale, please kick. Kick your feet up and back. 
Use the strength of the legs to lift you up away from the earth. You look like a teardrop from the side. The strength of the kick straightens the arms. Look up now towards the ceiling. Imagine you're looking back to find your toes behind you. Roll the weight forward onto the soft part of the belly. Kick up. One more time, lift your thighs, kick up and kick back. Change, lower your legs quietly, carefully. Look towards the left, your right ear is down. That's our spine strengthening sequence completed. With your eyes forward, your chin down, hands beneath your shoulders, push yourself up as we set up for fixed firm pose. Maybe you start with your knees, your feet together. Good idea to come towards the top of your mat. If you're sitting on your heels, you're not getting much of a stretch, begin to separate your feet. Eventually you're landing your sitting bones down between your heels. Please be mindful, your heels are against your hips, your toes are pointing straight back and not signaling out to the sides of the room. You can stay here, you can work with blocks or books, whatever you can use. If this is feeling okay, bring your hands onto your heels, bend your elbows. If you're on a block or a few books, you can stay on your elbows. If things are going well, maybe the back of the head is down. With your chin tucked, if all of this is still feeling good, catch on to opposite elbows over your head. It's okay for the knees to separate, but no wider than the hips. Find your maximum, just be content with where you are, creating that human bridge through the spine. One more breath, just be in the shape. To change, move slowly and mindfully, rewind, hands to heels, push up via your elbows. In your own time, turn yourself around, Shavasana. Lie flat down onto your back. Fresh, oxygen-rich blood making its way towards your knees, your ankles, your toes. We'll link the next three postures together, but before that, we'll take a sit-up to re-energize the body. Arms overhead, cross thumbs, flex feet. Take a deep inhale, hold the breath, sit up. Double exhale. Turn around, please, half tortoise. Move towards the back of your mat, knees, feet together. With your arms overhead, palms flat. This time, just the thumbs are crossed. Palms flat, thumbs crossed. Inhale, long spine. Slow motion, exhale, fold forward. One day, your forehead lands before your hands. Plant that seed. Once you are all the way down, please bring your chin forward so the tip of your nose is grazing the mat. Yes, this is a more restorative shape, but we're still active. So check that the wrists, the forearms, the elbows are lifted. Use your breath. With every inhale, you glide your fingertips more forward. And with every exhale, you sink your hips back and down onto your heels. Try to lengthen the spinal column. Spread your shoulder blades apart and breathe into your upper back. Now keep your hips heavy. See if you can hover your hands just for a second. Change, inhale, come up, flat back, strong stomach. Exhale, hands into your lap, stay as you are, just breathe. It's time for camel pose, stand up onto your knees, knees, feet, hip width distance, hands come to the small of the back, the fingertips point down. Roll your shoulders back and down, bring your elbows towards one another. Use your hands to drive the thighs, the hips forward, lift your chest, look up. Stay here, maybe that's enough for you here and now. Maybe you can drop your head back, eyes open. Only when you can see the back of the room is it safe to release the hands onto the heels. So just be mindful you want the hips to be moving forward and not moving much further back than the knees. Full palm grip of the heels. Thumbs on the outside, fingers on the inside. Avoid any hinging at one vertebral joint. Rather seek out an even back bend through lower, through middle, through upper spine. With your eyes open, your lips sealed, just feel the intensity of the shape. To change, come out slowly, hands to the small of the back. Drop your bottom onto your heels, rest your hands into your lap. Just take a moment, feel the heart beating in your chest. Maybe you're seeing spots, feeling dizzy, feeling happy or sad, just let everything settle. Counter poses called rabbit. You might want to shuffle towards the back of your space. You can use a towel as well for a drier grip, up to you. Hold onto your heels from behind, fingers inside, thumbs outside. Tuck your chin into your chest, round down through the spine. Please bring your forehead to touch your knees, the very top of your head down onto the mat. 
And now with a tight grip on your heels, begin to lift your hips and roll forward. Good, minimal weight is on the crown of the head. Feel the weight moving down your arms towards your feet as you squeeze your heels together. Please be mindful you've not rolled too far forward, the neck is safe. Feel your spine rounding up towards the ceiling, skin stretching over vertebral joints. One day your hips are directly on top of your knees. Squeeze your heels, belly in, roll forward. Change hips to heels, unravel, roll up. Turn around, Shavasana. Let those last three shapes be absorbed into the body. Time for another sit up, arms overhead, cross your thumbs, flex your feet, your heels do not lift. Take a deep inhale, hold the breath, sit up, double exhale. Lovely, turn around please, right leg straight, left foot inner, right thigh. Arms overhead, interlace ten fingers, twist your upper body to the right. Bend your right knee, tuck your chin, round down. Please bring your forehead onto your knee, interlace ten fingers, ball of right foot. Don't be afraid to bend the right knee a lot here. We are rounding the spine, just like we did in rabbit. Belly in and up, off of your right thigh. Flex the right foot, curl the toes in towards the shin, and over time the heel slides away from you. Equal pressure across the sitting bones, left knee heavy. Change, inhale, come up, strong stomach, switch legs, left leg straight, right foot in the left thigh. Twist your upper body left, bend left knee, tuck chin, round on down through the spine. Left knee can be really, really bent. Eyes are open. Over time, the left heel slides away from you. Those of you that have a straight extended leg, maybe you lock your knee and experience the heel hovering off of the mat. Roll the right side of your torso down towards your inner left thigh as you kick out through the heel. Change. Inhale, come up. Both legs forward. Flex your feet. Cross just your thumbs. As we prepare for another sit-up, you're going to roll down the length of the spine. When the back of your head lands, take an inhale. Hold your breath. Sit up. Double exhale. Bend your knees. Middle index finger thumbs bind around your big toes, tight grip. From here, shuffle your hips back or slide your heels forward, whatever gives you a more effective stretch. Here we want to lengthen through the lower back. So imagine your forehead touching the tops of your feet rather than your forehead meeting your knees. If anything, you're gesturing a slight cobra action through your upper back. Roll your shoulders back and down. Use your arms to pull on your big toes to bring your chest forwards and through. Stay as you are or take two or three breaths just to soften into what you have. Change, release your grip, turn around, Shavasana. Last mini Shavasana, last Bikram Sitta. Let's make it the strongest of our practice together. Arms overhead, cross thumbs, flex feet. Take a huge inhale, hold it, sit up. Double exhale. Turn around please, spine twist. Left leg is straight. Right foot lifted up and over your left knee corner. Left leg can stay straight or bend your left knee if that's available. Right hand is behind you, left arm up, inhale. Exhale, hook left elbow outside of right knee corner. Straighten your left arm. See if you can hold on to something, mat, towel, knee or foot. You're also welcome to bind if that's available to you. Use your breath as you inhale, long spine. As you exhale, twist, let your eyes travel over your right shoulder. Belly in. Push down into right big toe as you look back. Turn all the way back, twist. Change. Eyes forward, switch out the cross of your legs. Left foot outside of right knee corner. Right leg bent or straight. Left hand behind you, right arm up, inhale. Exhale, hook your elbow, twist now towards the left thigh. Straighten out the right arm. One leg holding on to something or you can bind. If that left hand is behind you, bring it in closer and closer so you're not slouching backwards. Soften your shoulders down away from your ears. Feel your shoulders moving in opposite directions as you stay broad and open across your collarbones. Belly in, look back, turn all the way back, twist, change. Eyes forward, make your way into a comfortable seat for final breathing. 
ideally sitting on your shins with your palms facing down, but otherwise cross-legged is also fine. Short, sharp exhalations out of the mouth, forced exhale, the inhales look after themselves, so really focus on the exhales. Before we start, let's take a nice inhale together through the nose, fill up, open your mouth, release. We'll use this inhale to prepare and begin. deciding to come onto your mat. Namaste. Please make your way into your final resting shape, your final Shavasana. Spread your body long across your mat. You can close your eyes. Get really, really comfortable. You can separate the arms, the legs. Give your body this gift of stillness. This time to completely relax. Absorb the benefits of your practice today. 